So I'm going to do one of these videos a week where I just talk about creepypasta, scary stuff, and in this video we're talking about rakes. And if you don't know, rakes are like these otherworldly hominid creatures that look like this. Yeah. Uh, so I couldn't find this original story, but I do remember reading this one about two hunters they were deer hunting at night, which is just sketchy as fuck because in all reality, you don't hunt at night because most animals are like resting, sleeping, uh, unless if you're hunting coyotes or uh, other species like that that are nocturnal, but you wouldn't be hunting at night. Uh, so that's that was my one issue with this story already. You already have two people hunting at night. That that was su suspect to me, and uh, so this story. So they're out hunting. He has an AR-15, which again is suspect again because you wouldn't really go hunting with an AR-15 uh, because it's a shorter barreled gun, and you can't go hunting with a 30 round magazine. In fact, if you are using an AR platform, you have to have three to five rounds to make it fair. Because if you're a hunter, you're not going to be hunting with something where you can just go, right? Of course, because that's unsportsmanlike. Usually you use a bolt action rifle, 7.62, 308, 30 out 6, uh, 243, 223. Uh, you, you wouldn't go hunting with an AR 15, especially a shorter barrel carbine one. And he also had a 357 Magnum, which, to the credit of the story, is not rare. Uh, when my dad went hunting uh, back in California, he always had a 357. Because if you're in deep grass, uh, dry grass, or you're just out in the wilderness, you might come across a mountain lion. So a pistol is just easier to get to. Especially if it's a shoulder holster or even on your hip. It's quicker to get that than move a hunting rifle. So it's not rare for hunters to use a sidearm. Uh, in Alaska and other places they do use 454 Kazools or 44 Magnums as a sidearm. Because if you come across a grizzly bear, you have to use a big gun because grizzly bears don't die easy. Uh, in fact, if you miss and piss one off, you're more than likely dead and you're going to be bear food uh, so this story again to get back on track uh they're out in the wilderness with the ar-15 357 magnum and he comes across a rake and he shoots the thing four times there appears to be no effect uh he then switches to his 357 magnum and shoots it a few times it either now the 357 magnum does take effect for whatever reason and uh to my I don't remember if it scurried off or they ran away, they got in their truck and drove off. But the thing with this, it's not as scary as, say, the elevator game. Uh, because anything in this world has to comply to our physics. And even if this was like an immortal creature, uh, bullets are still going to have effect on it. It's still going to slow it down. I mean, if it was me, I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't just shoot five rounds into the damn thing like the guy did. I just, be, especially if you have AR-15 with 30 rounds, be going <laughs> until you run out of ammo or until the thing is shot to bits, and then you take your 357 Magnum and go <laughs> to make sure it's really dead. Because in fact, if this is some kind of other world or other dimension invader, you're gonna make sure this thing's dead. And if that doesn't work, uh, and the thing still manages to come at you, you draw one of these, and you, you know, you go out fighting like a champ. And if you do shoot it multiple times, it does die. It wouldn't help to take a knife and then carve off some bits just in case that you know it's arms, legs, maybe it's dome, just to be sure. Because again, if theoretically it is some otherworldly creature, make sure it's dead. And yeah, that's rakes, of course. Um, even hunting recently, these most you have to remember that creepy pastas are just stories to entertain and scare. And of course, if there was this real world situation where hunters were running into rakes and otherworldly creatures, you would certainly know about it. And if hunters were being eaten, mauled, or killed by something like this over here. 
I, I highly doubt it wouldn't go too long because hunters, they do carry big caliber rifles. And especially in that story with a guy using an AR-15, again, pretty suspect because you you can't go hunting with a 30-round magazine. That's just unsportsmanlike. Uh, and plus, if you have to fire more than one to two times as a hunter, you're a shitty marksman. And what are you doing hunting if your accuracy is that bad? Um, and yeah, there, there was just weird things about these stories. And of course, that's my problem with most creepypastas, especially ones about the rakes, is that the people writing them are kind of not really grounded in reality. And of course, most creepypastas are written, written by children and young adults that don't have really real-world experience. Um, and even if you are hunting, if you were to see something like this, and even in context to a real-world situation, you wouldn't just want to blast something like this, right? Because you don't know if this is an injured human being. Uh, you, uh, again, this could be some like human being that's just survived out there looking for help. Of course, but but then again, if something comes at you like this at night and you're in the woods and you have a gun, it's like, sorry, dude, you're getting fucking blasted. <laughs> and even if it was a costume or anything, right? I, if that was me, I'd be like... <laughs> but then again, good luck explaining that in court. <laughs> I thought the guy was a fucking <laughs> rake and I blasted him. I emptied 30 rounds. <laughs> all reality and all set aside... Uh, if there was something like this, trail cams would catch it. Of course, there are some good doctored, photoshopped uh, pictures of this with trail cams. A really good job uh, with that picture. If, if you look it up, you can find it. Or if you look up rake pictures and stuff like that, you'll find cool, interesting doctored photos. But in my humble opinion, if there was otherworldly creatures invading this world, and especially among hunters... Uh, either someone would figure out, have pictures, or even a hunter would probably have this strapped to the hood of their car, and they'd be like, look at this shit we got. I don't even know what the fuck this thing is. Uh, but yeah, in all reality, if you're out in the wilderness, or if you're camping, and if you're in a country or a state that allows you to have a gun take that shit with you, because again, you're out in the wilderness... If you come across a creature, a bear, or even some nut out there in the wilderness uh, that wants to do you harm, you can protect and defend yourself. And if you don't have a gun uh, or in a shitty country where you can't own one, there's always uh, the good old trusty Chop Chop. Uh, but then again, even in London, you can't own one of these. And as, well, if, you're, if you live in England in general, you're just fucked anyway. Uh, because they're a cucked country that don't allow you to own knives, guns, or any of this stuff to really defend yourself. And you're stuck with calling the uh, police or rangers. And at that point, uh, if you have to call for help in the wilderness... The first responders are just there to pick up whatever remains and chunks of you that are left after the creature and or serial killer gets to you. Um, but other than that, there's other improvised weapons. Big boulders, sticks, bats. Bats are a great self-defense tool. Uh, a good on, you know, to the head will put a aggressor down. Uh, but then again... In the pitch black scenario, if you come across something like this, you only have to one of two reactions, fight or flight. Uh, you're either killing this thing or you're running the hell away. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video of me talking about the rake and that obscure creepypasta that I do remember reading but I couldn't find. And yeah, out of all the other creepypastas, it, it's pretty, or like creepy stories, it would be pretty terrifying to see this just off in the distance. But up close, uh, yeah, like in this picture, that would be uh, a thing to remember or, or your last, the, th the thing you see last before it gnaws your face off. But then again, in either situation, hopefully you're in a country that allows you to have a gun or a knife so you can at least have a fighting chance. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a dislike, comment your own thoughts below on the rake. Is it real? Is it bullshit? Uh, I would like to know. Uh, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.